Degeneracy in artwork is something everyone on the internet is familiar with in this day and age. It's been such a common reality throughout the history of the internet that even in the older days of online image boards, people were still aware of the concept of Rule 34. That being, if a thing exists, porn of that thing does as well. A proverbial Pandora's box of deviancy, if you will. However, much like Pandora's box, it becomes quickly apparent when you view some of the logical extremes this rule can take us. Some things were never meant to be found. Meet shirtbusters, Twitter artist, internet degenerate, and uh... Well, you can see from this image, crazed lover of things that are coming in very small packages. I want you to take a glance at this image for just a moment, this one that shirtbusters decided was worth sharing and boosting. That visceral feeling of revulsion in your gut that you're hopefully feeling, you know, the one that sane, rational adults would have upon seeing such a repugnant piece of quote-unquote art, Shirtbusters doesn't quite have that same sensation. Rather, his first reaction is more akin to, God, just call me Chris Brown because I'm about to beat my meat like it was Rihanna. In case you haven't guessed it by now, this video is going to be going to some dark places, so if you're not all set to dive into the Laurentian abyss of deviancy, I suggest you find another video. However, for those of you with the fortitude to stick this one out, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Shirtbusters is a very... peculiar man with some very peculiar proclivities. I'd go into a bit of detail about this, but I've had the misfortune of speaking to the man in a Discord call before this, hosted by the channel's favorite internet hug box and all-around safe space. The Senate. I'm going to show you a conversation, a debate if you will, on the topic of Lollicon that took place between myself, a few others, and Shirtbusters. Mind you, this will be edited for time, but none of the proper context is being removed, so please enjoy experiencing this man and its justification for jacking it to little ladies. Uh, what's up with this? Hey, hey Hazel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of the, uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, why are you looking at that? And it won't matter. How old are you? 28. 28 years old. And you're looking at fucking Lollicon. Okay, so busy, bro? I, I actually have a question. If you're Go why ahead. why are you looking at Lollicon? Like what what's how do you rationalize that to yourself? One and two, why do you think that that's acceptable? I mean, they're they're fucking children. I mean, that's literally what they are. They're children. Why is that okay to you? And I'm around your age, too. I'm 20 fucking 9, okay? I'm one year older than you, at best. So why do you think that that's okay? Because by the standards that I have for myself as a 29-year-old man, that would never in a million years fly as anything close to okay. So why do you think that's okay? I've always liked it. That doesn't explain... But why do you like it? Why do you think yeah, it's acceptable? I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking why you think it's acceptable, not why you've always, not why you like it or how long you've liked it. Answer the question I've asked, please. Not, not some weird answer that has nothing to do with it. Because it is art. Well, fucking wonderful. There's a lot of things that are art. Wow. There's, there's a lot of things that are art. You could fucking, I don't know if, if that's the case. Why don't you just jerk off to ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics? I don't fucking know. Like, what's your real answer here? Is this Digi Bros all, dude? Like, what the fuck? Like, why do you think this is acceptable, and why is it something that you look at in order to, you know, pleasure yourself? That's my question. Why do you think that's okay? If you, if you realize you're, you're jacking up to a fucking child, right? And before you... What was that? Illustration. Yeah, illustration of a child. It doesn't okay. change that you're getting up to a depiction of a fucking minor, you mental infant. Even if it's a, even if it's an illustration, the fact of the matter is that illustration represents something within the context of what it is illustrating. In the context of the illustration, that is a child. You are jacking off to an illustration of a child. That's not going to change just because you say it's art or it's illustration. You're jacking off to a representation of a fucking kid. How do you rationalize this? How do you how do you convince other people that it should be okay? Because you must have some kind of rationalization outside of its illustration, so tell it to me. Oh, whoa, dead air. Whoa, Kimasabi. Does this dude have, like, a five-word limit on responses? Yeah. Or... Okay. Sure, you there? Yes. Say I, I uh, showed you a picture of a tree. Like a drawing of, tr of a tree. What is that depicting? A tree. 
All right. Now, say I show you a picture of a uh, a drawing of a uh, child getting uh, raped. What does that depict? Exactly that. Now say the, the say the words. Say the words. What does that depict? I want to hear you say the exact words. You know, what? I have an idea. That that picture I I posted in Adult VC, the one that you like that you retweet. Okay, what is that depicting? A child, yes. And you think that's acceptable? It's pretty cringe, dude. Yes. There's another word for it. You know, I know, yeah. I know a lot of people who who look at Lollicon like to say like, "Oh, age is just a number," but you know what? Jail's just a place, my dude. Legal where I come from. Oh, it's legal where you come from. Okay, where are you from? Brazil. You're from Brazil. That explains yes. everything. I'm more confused about the state, but I'm from Brazil. That I, should that explain everything? You can rape children in Brazil, and it's okay. Wait, what? It was just it was more like a joke about Brazil being like a very strange so, place. But I actually have a follow up question. Which okay, you're saying that you're saying this is legal in your country. Fine, fine, fair enough. But that doesn't change the morality of it. You shouldn't be jacking off to images of children. It's just a moral question at that point. So how do you rationalize that to yourself morally? And actually, if you're going to rationalize it from the legal perspective, my next question is, were it legal where you are, would you actually go out and jack off to real children? Or worse, rape real children, if it were legal, since that's the route you want to take. These are hypotheticals, nope. though. These are actual hypotheticals. I think these are fair legal. questions. Were it actually legal, would you actually go and have sex with a child where you are? Since you know, Lollicon, mm. your whole justification now is it's legal. So would you go molest a child if it was legal? No. Okay, and why is that? Is it why is that? Is it because it's morally reprehensible? Yes, those wouldn't involve real children. Okay, we see we've got another I know fuck real situation. It looks like okay. Um, so because it's morally reprehensible, since what you've said is yes after I asked that question, how do you justify still lollycon? Because it's a morally reprehensible thing. It may be legal, but it's morally reprehensible. So if you wouldn't do something morally reprehensible, even if it were legal, why do you do this that's legal but morally reprehensible? How do you rationalize that? I mean, the brain don't fucking care. There's a disconnect here, you see, because it's it, there's a real disconnect here because the problem is those two things are in the same sort of category of the situation. Both are morally reprehensible. One is legal, the other is not. If one were actually legal, you said you wouldn't do it, but the other is legal and you will do it, despite both of them being equally morally reprehensible. So I'm I'm struggling with this. How are you how are you, you know, making this rationalization? Where's your distinction? How does this how does this actually add up? Simple fact that it isn't real and uh doesn't involve real children. How are oh. you... Okay, now's the next question. How do you know it doesn't involve real children? How do you know someone's not using actual child pornography as a reference point? Because to get a reference point for human anatomy, you have to have something. So how do you know the artists themselves are not using actual child pornography as a reference point? And if you give me any other answer except you can't know that, you're lying to me because you can't know that. So how do you know nobody got hurt? I, mean, I, I gave you the answer already. I'm just waiting for you to say it back to me. Go ahead. Some probably are, but it has nothing to do with me. Are you, are you sure about but that? No, no, hold on. Hold on. Are you okay. sure? Wait. Go on, go on, go on, Weebus. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I mean, you could say it doesn't have anything to do with you, but by consuming that content, aren't you therefore endorsing the production of said content that could potentially be harming those children? I mean, even if you're not endorsing it, you're still facilitating it, like, the market for it in general. You are the reason it keeps getting created, yeah, which totally therefore right. keeps getting children actually harmed by people who do that kind of reference uh, referencing. So the fact that you actually indulge in this and create a market is one of the reasons it keeps happening. So you can't say it has nothing to do with you. You are the cause. You are the customer. The customer is what they're trying to serve. If there is a market, the, the market is the reason why it happens. Supply and demand. It's basic uh, economics. You are the yeah, you are the demand. They're supplying it. That is correct. Okay, so you, so you acknowledge that you're complicit in it. 
I believe in autistic freedom. What? Th what? Th what was that like? That was such a weird non sequitur. Yeah, that was a really fucking political answer. Are you running for office? I mean, dude, like, that's not what we asked you. What we asked is that you acknowledge that you're complicit in that. You basically just pivoted away from answering that question. That indicates to me that you know what the answer is, but you just don't want to say it. Is that not right? You know the answer, and you just don't want to say it. Here, let me make this easy for you. There is nothing you can say that will excuse you from jerking off of this shit. No, I suppose not. It is just that, as obscene as it may be, it is still artistic expression, and you cannot stop people from expressing themselves. That doesn't Shut mean up. it's right? That's not what we're... We're not saying that people oh. can't express themselves. We're saying that they shouldn't express themselves in that way because it could be potentially harmful to children. I don't understand what's so also, hard to stop people from that. expressing themselves in that way, though. Also, it's not an artistic expression, you jerking off to it. That is not an artistic expression. That's, that's about, hold on, that's about all, as much yeah. as, that's about as much of an artistic expression as if I slammed your head against the wall and pointed at the blood left there and saying, that's my artistic expression. Unless you're shooting your loads on a canvas and calling it a Picasso <laughs> painting, I don't see how it's an artistic expression. No, that's actually not Picasso, that's a, that's a Jackson Pollock painting. Oh yeah, you're right, I mixed it up, it's fine. Jesus oh my god, Christ. dude, shirt, Whoa. I got I got to be honest with you, shirt. You are a complete fucking degenerate. I'm not going to I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You are beyond I don't even know, dude. There is something fun from There is him and yeah, me. There's something fundamentally broken with you, man. Well, now I think you understand that this man definitely enjoys them on the younger side, and I think you can see exactly how warped he is given his justifications for that. And ordinarily, I would say that that's proper context enough to understand why the next few points become problematic. But the reality is, there's a little bit more context from that call that you do need. Let me play that for you right now. Why the fuck are you making suggestive art of my fucking girlfriend, dude? Oh, wait, what? Yeah! Oh, that's oh, a real thing? Like... Yes! Here, look, I'll actually DM you this shit right now. You want to see it? Uh, yeah, yeah sure. As, as long as it's not, uh, R-rated, sure. Oh, the, plot, the plot thickens, holy shit. What the She's fuck? literally not comfortable with this shit. Bro. Are you, are oh, you Lord, the shit? Lord dump out of nowhere. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's go into this. Uh, What's up with this? Like, why are you uh, drawing a part of this person? Yeah, let it ride. Holy crap, Gazel off the top ropes. Holy fuck. What part did I make? Gazel is saying that you made suggestive art of his girlfriend, is that true? Her girlfriend, and yes. I hey. don't know who that is. Uh, Alright, Gazel, can you... Gazel, can you give us a link, uh, or some I kind of screen cap? No, I got you, I got you, dude. Is it alright with you if I post this in adult so other people can see it? Uh, yeah. yes, go ahead. Yeah, pool guy, you're a major. Uh, I, was ask, I was asking Hazel, but yeah, I'll go ahead and do that then. Yep. Yes, sir, sir. Alright. Sure, bro. So I want you to uh, look at adult PC context. That's what we're talking about right now. Oh wait, Hazel's you're dating Puppy Chan, huh? Yes. I did not know that. I remember that one. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> so you're only three days ago. I would hope you would. What's the problem again? You literally drew suggestive artwork of my fucking girlfriend, and she literally is not comfortable with that. She literally just turned eighteen. Surprised he waited. Yeah, knowing he's already into fucking Lollicon. So, I guess the question is, why are you drawing suggestive artwork of people when they're not comfortable with that? One, you should ask before you draw subge suggestive artwork of somebody, and two, why would you post it if you knew they weren't comfortable with it or thought they might not be comfortable with it? I, I mean, I, those are the questions that I have. One, why, and Pretty two, cringe, why post dude. it? Pretty cringe. Those questions weren't rhetorical. I'd like some answers, if that's, you know, not too much to ask. This dude, this dude's only excuse was, oh yeah, Puppy Chan has got herself into some mischief again. With what? I like the character. You like the character. It took you a minute to say, like, three words. <laughs> okay. Alright, you like the character. <laughs> if the individual is uncomfortable with this, why is it still up? They never told me. Did Puppy Chan reach out to you and ask you to take it down? 
No. Hazel, do you know if she wants it taken down? She doesn't want any like type of artwork of this here in the first place. She's expressed discomfort of it constantly. Shirtbusters, as a sign of good faith, would you take this down and not post it again? Since now that you know the individual who owns this OC is not comfortable with it? Very well. That's a, that's a bit of a yikes right there, isn't it? Uh, here, let me show you the artwork that's being discussed right here in this tweet. Now, there are a couple dates that are important to note. This tweet right here that has since been deleted was made on December 4th, and this call took place on December 7th. These are going to become very important, because this tweet here that has now been deleted was deleted on the 7th during this call. Moreover, in this call he's already expressed that he had no idea that Puppy Chan was not comfortable with this, and that he was making this because he, quote, liked the character. And in most cases, that would also be it. It's clear they aren't okay with it, it's clear this was unacceptable, and it's clear that he shouldn't do this again. Normally, that's where things end. But with our good friend here, not so lucky. As you can see, despite knowing this was unacceptable, and despite deleting his first tweet, Two days later, he creates new artwork, posted it, and tagged Puppy Chan, fully aware this was against their wishes. Starts to, <laughs> starts to make things look a little bit sketchy, especially when you actually look at this tweet that came out before either of those pieces of artwork were created, talking about how Puppy Chan, quote, never learns, and how they need to, quote, watch what she says. I'm, I'm sure the irony isn't lost on anyone regarding that, but it does put these in a different perspective. Almost like trying to publicly sexually humiliate Puppy Chan is something he considers to be an acceptable thing to do. Now, this isn't the first time he's made sexually explicit artwork of internet creators. Take, for example, his stunning portrayal of Jaden Animations, chained up as a dog and fully nude. A very, very lovingly rendered piece, and I'm sure Jaden Animations would be proud to see this kind of bullshit coming from this creature. But I'm sure, if he was called out for this publicly, he'd probably apologize to her. I mean, hell, he apologized to Donnie, uh, then they apologized again, and then again, and then again, and again? <laughs> How many fucking times this guy apologize to a singular person for doing this kind of bullshit? I mean, I, I guess indefinitely, considering he doesn't mean any of them. After all, this situation here on the 15th with Donnie happened well after that recorded call on the 7th, as well as him making new art of Puppy Chan on the 9th, so we can clearly see this man is full of complete horse shit. Well, as you can probably see by this point, Shirtbusters is a very sick man, a twisted, deranged individual, the kind who will both enjoy and create porn of minors, create fetish art of people he dislikes or disagrees with, and when he's rightfully cornered by any backlash that he receives, he'll spam your mentions to beg for forgiveness. It's rare that I find myself agreeing with Caesar's Legion from Fallout New Vegas, but I definitely think they put it best in this case. Degenerates like you belong on a cross.